Welcome to RimWorld, where today I have a big old list of things I have to fix that I messed up yesterday. So number one was connecting the wind turbine up to the grid that I've done. The other thing was I messed up the Psychite T. So, I mean, I've got a list of other stuff to do as well. But those were the two kind of big ones. The Psychite T, it turns out, didn't matter anyway because I forgot to change the drug policy over. So they were just doing whatever the hell they felt like. So now I've fixed it so that instead it's... Um, I completely misread that. I thought it was if recreation is below, by which it meant... If they've got 1% below maximum. I don't know why I thought that would be the case. Given that obviously that wouldn't make much sense. So I've, I've put it all the way up to any instead. Which which now should work a little bit better. But I was told as well on my big list of comments here. That uh, Garden T is apparently decent as well. Not as good as Psychite T. But very good. But more importantly it's not addictive. So we can let them go completely wild with it. So why don't we grow some garden tea within a decent area close to... Uh, we want to build it... God damn it. The one time I don't want to extend the zone, it bloody works. Uh, the uh, We want to build it as close to this tree as possible, obviously, so they'll stick to their meditation schedule. I've got some change I want to do to that in a second anyway. Right, uh, garden tea. Is that just regular tea plant? Okay, sure. There we are. So... Some other things to, to discuss pretty quickly. Let's get let's get that one off the middle. Uh, it was a really cool idea for what to do with the street. So basically, if we do one row of, of fast walk speed tiles, whatever those happen to be, obviously we'll unlock more as we go through the game. But fast walk speed tiles on one side, fast walk speed on the other, and then a row of roses in the middle as a growing zone, that would be a really cool idea because that way they'll be in this constantly beautiful environment as they move between all the buildings. So that's something we'll do. And aesthetically, it'll hopefully look pretty cool as well. And then the other thing I've got written down here is... Where's it gone? Okay. Nothing. There was nothing at all. Oh, I remember. Uh, somebody said that the with the locks mod, which we've had all the time, um, with the locks mod, we can allow prisoners to open doors, so we wouldn't need to do things like this. But I don't know exactly how that works, because their names aren't on the list. I mean, it counts as locked right now. Um, when are locked door settings do not apply? Uh, all humanoid capable of opening doors can pass. I don't know that prisoners are capable of just opening doors universally, though, are they? We'll have to give that a go. We need to also deal with it. Well, have they got two teddy bears? The prisoners got more teddy bears than our damn people. I need to redo the prison as well. We'll, we'll go ahead and attach that maybe to, like, the, the far side of the base. Because right now, if they break out of the prison, they can rush straight into this room, get some weapons, and then we're in a little bit of trouble. Ah, oh, that was what I wanted to speak about. So, stone blocks. I've adjusted that somewhat. Someone pointed out to me that, that, that obviously the stone blocks follow a particular pattern. Uh, sandstone has the lowest work. Granite is the strongest. Marble is the most beautiful. Which is why I've swapped Bobber over to making marble blocks rather than granite or sandstone or whatever the hell we were on last time. He's already churned out 222 of the things. So the goal today really is swap out all the bamboo walls for marble and kind of stick to marble going forward. So we're probably going to leave him permanently on that. Now, one thing I want to do, if we're going to start turning this into a work room, I probably want to detach it from the main sort of recreation area, but I'm not sure about that. Um, what I might do is detach this, or, or, or use this workroom temporarily, build a proper workroom somewhere else, like say down in this section of the base, and then turn that into a research center for Brain, so it's a bit more convenient for him. Plus, it's, I, I mean, I want our four main guys to all have this area to themselves as well, like their own recreation room, kitchen, whatever else. So for the time being, we'll let people work in here. Now, we want to make it a little bit nicer for them to actually be in, because right now it's a complete dump. So what I'm thinking is we'll throw in some of the deep storage to try and tidy things up. Tall shelves, double shelves, what's the difference? Um, I have no idea. The excess top shelves using a rolling ladder. So what things can be stored here? It'll take a while to put things away. Right, so this one... Has the most storage available per per the squares. And then obviously we can a lot more ex extra stuff with the research. But for the time being, we'll just stick down a bunch of these tall shelves. It's 45 steel a piece. It's a little bit expensive. Uh, but it'll make the whole room look a lot tidier than it does right now. I'll try and keep a bit of a gap as well. So that our people can still move around fairly decently. That was obviously the issue I ran into last series. Alright, let's do something like that instead so we're not blocking this... The sort of walkway between the kitchen and the main corridor. I've also set the septic tank to drain at 25% capacity so that we can immediately start working on some fertilizer ready for when we finish off the the resource plants, which in theory we'll do today. There, there was a comment that I got on Discord where someone was a little bit concerned that it would take a long time to obviously get through this research tree. It, it, in normal circumstances, it would, but bear in mind I have enabled in the... Uh, game scenario setup uh, on, on the first episode we did crank the research up to like 250 percent which was originally meant to fight through the randomized research that we had enabled in the, in the first attempt but i figured we'd leave that on anyway just so we can actually get through this tree a lot faster particularly when we've got one dude working on it at 
a crappy wooden research bench. It's going to take him a very, very long time to get anywhere, even with that additional work speed. I mean, it's going to take him the best part of this episode as well, just to get through the last of, uh, of microelectronics. I don't know why, for whatever reason then, I noticed people eating simple meals rather than the stew. And I think the reason for that is that the stew counted as being reserved because obviously someone else was coming over to come and grab some. It might be a good idea to make sure we've got more stew on offer then. Try and go for a massive amount so they split it up. What would even be better still is having a separate freezer for each type of meal. Because otherwise they can't obviously grab from... Two, two people can't grab from the same stack because haha, <laughs> Renward. Um, unless we want to take it out of storage. We had this issue actually where, where we were interacting with deep storage in, a, in last series. So how do we want to deal with this then? We haven't unlocked refrigeration yet, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. Um, I guess we could get rid of the freezer. Or maybe just have stew in the freezer. But that still doesn't help the issue that we've only got one stack of them. We can't split the stacks. We've got multiple people picking from the same stack. There, so what? There, it's like 75 per, per pile, isn't it? So we're going to have to make over 75 pots of stew. Which I guess wouldn't be too bad, given that we've got seven people now. Sod it. Let's go for like... Um, oh, we've got eight people. Sorry. Fine. We'll go eight pots of stew and then unpause at 40. Actually, unpause at 20. Oh, hang on. Stall doors would provide a decent way of... No, I don't remember if stall doors actually stop temperature. I don't believe they do. Does not create neurons or prevent heat, heat loss. Okay, so that wouldn't work either. Because obviously if we put stall doors on it and then it started freezing, these guys would all die kind of horribly. Um, we'll leave it like that then. I mean, it does give us the option to obviously come back over and close it relatively quickly as well. Now, that was a really good idea to stagger our schedule... By the way, if anybody, if anybody knows for definite how to disable the icons and replace it rather than it having that crap just saying schedule, that would be so much better. Because I always click through at a glance and then never actually get the right thing the first time. So somebody suggested that a, a better idea would be to stagger our meditation schedule so there's always somebody outside to keep an eye on the prisoners. And I think that's a great plan. So if we do... Uh, I only wanted to take up their work day, obviously. Okay, so instead, let me... Give it an hour overlap for each person. That way it also gives them a little bit of time for uh, social interaction as well. Okay, there we go. That's pretty decent, I think. Ah, that was unexpected. Uh, strong arm successfully tamed a sacred white fox. 17% chance. I wanted to tame it because, hey, it's worth, I mean, 1,750 so we could just sell it off. Uh, what's white fox fur like? I want to take a look at that. Wow. Oh, holy shit, that's really good. Good God. Wow. Um, what about the creature itself? Does it actually do... Oh, it grows... It just grows wool and, and leaves it. Holy shit. That could be very, very good for us then. So, I've very quickly given all the shelves a... The important priority. And then I've also given them basically everything that won't rot. So, no plant matter, no corpses. I've set the stockpile on the floor to low priority. So, about animatory linking. Oh, we actually got... Oh, it's 18 grass. Sorry, I thought it was 20. Oh, there we go. Um... The anima grass requirements for linking ritual to upgrade side casters are 18 anima grass, and then we can upgrade fingers, shagrat, Jimmy Jimison, or ice wolf. Only those with an H focus type can meditate or link with anima trees. You see a person that's cool. So obviously we've got to link fingers, right? Begin the linking ritual. Interested in what this will do for us? Go. What does it do? Linking at anima tree. Oh, it takes a long time, huh? Which is like these weird little, uh, just like these weird pulses. Okay. And I assume like using um, the psychic amplifier upgrades, it'll just give us a random psychic ability. And then and then what? How, like, like, do we link with it again to gain more psychic powers? I have no idea. I guess we'll find out. Man, it took all day though. There we are. Psych Silent gained fingers. Okay. Uh, so we can set a particular amount of psi focus. This I did see. Um, so we can go all the way up to the maximum. That way, he will meditate until that is fulfilled, or we set it to the minimum if we're not going to use him so much. Oh, but the higher it is, the more effort you have to spend keeping it that high. Right, okay, so you do get diminishing returns to some extent. And what's his psychic? Does he get a psychic? Oh, he gets pain block to start with. To be honest, pain block for an immortal is... In some ways, it's okay, but in some ways, it's not so relevant, because he already has half pain anyway. Um... We can make him almost impervious to pain, and then when he dies, he can obviously rebuild. Now, apparently, it is when we... Uh, there was a comment yesterday that said, kill him, and he'll regrow. Comment section, I'm trusting you on this one. Because if I kill this man and he's dead forever, there is going to be hell to pay. Um, why don't we harvest his heart or something useful? Why don't we... <laughs> we can harvest his left leg. 
That way, if it's his only... No, no, no. That won't kill him, though, fool. I was going to say we could harvest that. And that way, um, if he dies and it's only the things that regrow that killed him. So his left leg grows back in. We could install that on his right leg. Um... You know, let's go harvest his heart. That'll probably finish him off, I'd imagine. Get brains to operate on fingers. I was going to say, what happens if the anima tree gets knocked down? It's say raiders, turn up, drop pods, whatever, crush it, meteorite falls in it, something like that. I assume it won't make much of a difference, huh? Um, psych okay, so he's getting his first silent key. He's now a psychaster. To use psychaster fingers, must build up psychic focus through meditation. Different people are able to focus on different objects. Psychasters with raw titles, blah, blah. Okay, cool. Um... But look at their info card. Okay. Upon gaining his silent level, he learned pain block. So, do we have to wait until there's another 18 anima grass and then do another ritual with him, perhaps? I assume that's how it works. There wasn't much info about that in the video that I watched. And he's dead. What a shame. Do we get a free heart out of it? Regrowing. Yes. It's working. Look. Regrowing his heart. Ah, so it is only the part that killed him, though. So, my theory was actually right. If we could take off his leg to the extent that he dies... Okay, um, let's keep a close eye on things and see what happens. Developing. And then the second that hits 15, what does he wait back up as if nothing happened? Heart rotted away immediately. Oh, we've actually got to put bionics on ice pretty fast then, huh? Okay, um, heart. Raw resources, uh, what is it? Items, body parts? Yeah, there we are. Um, right, get, get out of here. I just want to quickly make sure we've got that set up in the future. Natural. Uh, and I guess that's it. Evolved body parts? Torture? What have you got in here? Slave friend. Organ modification kit. Nutra- Oh, the Nutramine incubator is really, really cool. Um, okay. And he's back. Hooray. Uh, he still lost his- Yeah, he still hasn't got a leg, though. That was a great idea. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite work like that. Obviously, you would just be able to use them as free organ farms otherwise. What if we pull off his leg and then kill him? Without tending it. Would that then, would he then resurrect and, and repair his limbs? Oh, they do come back with anesthetic. Or no, maybe that is where we operate on him in hindsight. Um, so when they're rebuilding, this is something I did see. Their hunger is massive. So he's going to come back. He's going to be extremely hungry for a very, very long time. And in fact, he's fallen over already. Because he's got malnutrition, I assume. Uh, no, I don't know why exactly you fell over then. Although, look at how fast his food bar is going down. Aha, microelectronics is done. Very good. Okay, so let's get all this stuff hauled as soon as possible so we can start turning this area into a lab. And we've got a raid. Only from the union of Gaga... That one. Uh, we've got seven Oni, some of which have laser swords again. Because of course they do. Why wouldn't they? Is it just one... Oh, it's two groups. Shit. Uh, another one's got a friggin' laser sword over here as well. Uh, we could really do with fingers not being unconscious in hindsight. How do we want to deal with this? Let's check out these guys first. Okay, everybody draft up. Unfortunately, our psychic immortal is down because I pulled out his heart in the hopes that it would regrow his organs. Evidently, it worked perfectly, so I don't know what you're complaining about. Okay, good luck, team. We need to get some sort of defenses out the front of the base here as well. That would that would be kind of useful. Right, let's rotate. So, go like, go like that, I think is probably a safe idea. Okay, good shit. Don't you dare. They're attacking our shooting targets, which is not what they're there for. Come on, fingers. Yes, he's up, he's up, he's up. Where's his rifle? Someone's he's moved his rifle. That's okay, that's okay. We're doing fine. Like, no one's taken any damage yet. Dots to request opportunity. Now is not the time. Oh, are they... Oh, I thought they were burning the place down. They're just smashing the doors open. Where is fingers? Has he got his gun? Fingers, come on. Get your gun. Perfect. Squad up, get outside. Go. Get out here. Back us up. Our people are absolutely laying it down, though. We, we have nothing to worry about here. Where are the other enemies? So we've got a couple over there. They've decided to burn some of our crops, which is incredibly rude. Uh, fingers, get in there. Beat them to death. Oh, no. Don't don't blow off any more of Fingers' fingers. He hasn't got many left to spare. Bless him. Okay. They're fleeing. Right. I'm, I mean, I don't really care much for this area anyway. I didn't even realize we were still growing crops outside the walls, but we do need to get over there and put the fire out pretty fast. Oh, my God. As the... Come on, rain, please. Please, rain. Just a little bit of rain. I beg of you. It's all right. They've actually got it under control. I'm quite surprised. I thought it would take a lot longer than that. Okay. Um, that was fun. Did we get any laser swords? We did get a couple of prisoners out of it, though. Bleeding out in 0.9 hours. Bleeding out in 2 hours. We've got a prisoner out of it. Okay. Uh, brains. Capture. Oh, before I forget. Immortals. Immortals. Immortal. Tobacco addiction. Not what I'm after. Immortal. Uh, I think we're fine. 
I think we're fine. Well, ideally, we'd obviously want there to be some immortals so that we could... So that we could try and level up fingers to the extent that his organs might regrow or something like that. Last thing I want to do with the current workbench is go for whatever unlocks the lentils. Agriculture one, apparently. Mainly because we can't cook any more stew because we are completely out of lentils. So we might as well grow a field of, of just those. For whatever reason, we, we can grow all these plants together. But we're still ending up with abundance of all the other plants besides lentils. Despite the fact that they all have lentils so well i guess it's probably because we're substituting meat for lentils right now it uses 10 times the amount so we need to grow a dedicated field if we actually want this stew to continue being available to us i've got to ask what the hell are you wearing titanium metal oh well that's cluttered up uh what is this general labor speed plus 10 percent. oh never mind carry on where did you find that? <laughs> just a random clothes change there okay um what I'm thinking, then, is I'm sure we've got enough blocks at this stage. Yeah, we've got more than enough now to start pursuing some of our goals. Here's what I'm thinking, first and foremost. We'll go for Marble Wall from here all the way to the map edge. Then we'll go from here all the way up to the other area we designated, and then all the way to this pond. That way, enemies are going to really, really struggle to get to us. They can still get part through on a, on a couple of places, and obviously we're going to have sappers and things like that. But we'll just accept that that's part of the deal this time around. And in fact, they can't get around that way because look, there's a... Actually, no, they can just walk over one block there. That's frustrating. So we need some better bridges before we can do much with that. Um, we haven't got room in hindsight to build the thing I wanted to build in the stockpile unless we move the wind pump and expand the room out. So I think we'll just have to do that, unfortunately. Um, sure. You know what? Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and put it... Can we put it somewhere that's also capitalizing on, on the space that we've got set up? Yeah, we could do it like right there. All right, there we go. Good shit. Okay, so now we want to get rid of the wooden wind pump. And then we'll just expand this room out to accommodate for some extra stuff. Again, I'm not going to keep it as a permanent workroom. But I am going to keep it as a... Oh my god, every time. Every time I think there's like an immortal or we're under attack from god knows what in this mod pack. So we'll just expand this out temporarily. And then later on, we'll build a more dedicated thing. I would love to build it over here, but I want to get the external wall. Like, I'd love to get the wall all the way around the edge of the... What is that? Hello? Weird. Um, I want to get a, a wall around the entire edge of the map. Because we've never done that before, and I think it's a hell of an undertaking. But yeah, that makes for a pretty decent-sized workroom. So we'll put the workbench... Uh, or the, the research bench, I should say, over there. But then if we've got any of the workbenches we want to put down, at least temporarily... I do want to dedicate... Individual workrooms for separate tasks rather than having so I normally fall into the trap of putting everything in one room and Very much running out of space So this time around we'll try and be a bit more dedicated with how we divide up jobs Maybe have like a, the, the smeltery the furnace the arc I think it's actually called the arc smelter from the industry mods all in one room We'll have like industry in one the fine crafting in another textiles weapon manufacturing another room entirely let's go ahead and get down that research bench so one thing we do have is dubs min menus evidently one of the things that it, it, it adds is an alternate architect menu that you can either enable by default or enable it by control clicking on the artifact items um it's ar architect not artifact i got those look i'm dealing with one series that uses accessories one series that uses artifacts and another series that uses architects and those words have just blurred into one at this point so what we can do is we can set this as default or we can bring it up. The reason I want to use this one is because it's got the search bar. It's going to make life... I think I might even set this as our default menu. What do you think? Maybe maybe we'll test that out for a little bit. Let's go into the mint menus uh, mod. You do something like this. Autofocus search box as well. So we click the menu. And what that means is when we do that, it'll immediately bring up the search box. So say, for example, oh, I really need to put down a multi-analyzer. We just click that. I type in multi-analyzer. And it's obviously not there because we haven't got the research for it. But you get you get my meaning. It might be quite cool. We'll, we'll test that out. We'll see if it's more convenient. But I think it's going to be a lot better than me clicking through every frigging menu a hundred times to look for something added by a mod that I don't understand yet. Add temperature. Oh, the whole base is four degrees. Yeah, I think we can probably afford to turn off the air conditioning now, Chief. Um, alternatively, air uh, heating. I don't think that'll work, will it? In hindsight, how would it? It's it's target temperature is 21 and we're at minus 7. Okay, might have to start putting down some heaters then, I'm afraid. Uh, so now we just go heaters? There we are. Oh, I actually kind of like that. I think each one of the, the main four deserve their own dedicated heater in their rooms. I think, I, I think that's acceptable. And then bend that through into the other rooms. Now these external rooms, maybe one heater per terrace block and then vents into each might be sufficient. It really depends on what we can afford at this stage of the game. Bear in mind that we haven't got enough components to build that research bench. Oh, to be fair, it's all vented through anyway. So I've only just put in... 
I've put in two heaters for now because we don't really have the components for it. I did see someone mining some components. Yeah, let's get those all back to base. Maybe we wanted the heating first, but in hindsight, I guess it's okay. I guess it can't hurt too much. Right, so he got himself a nice little bamboo chair as well, which I assume gives all the beauty bonus or whatever. Um, right, so let's remove this from his bedroom then, because he's got enough on his plate already. We should move the manager bench over as well. Yeah, bad temperature in there. Um, put the manager bench right next to the research bench thing as he deals with both. So I've also put one up here in the workroom slash lab slash stone cutting area, and then one down in this area as well, just because that's going to be the furthest away. So we've got Kind of a couple of, uh, they're, they're all somewhat equidistant. Obviously, this one's a bit further. This one's also going to heat the prison. We might want to bring that down to there and put another one dedicated in the prison, but they don't deserve it. If they deserved heat, they wouldn't be in prison. Welcome to Room World. Next up, obviously, we've got to go multi-analyzers, right? Obviously, that's going to open up the rest of everything. So this is kind of the, is there anything else we want while things are nice, nice and simple? Very basic, very straightforward. Like... Candy making, for example. No, we're going to go straight for... I might go straight for Rheumatomics. It's been a couple of series since we've used Rheumatomics. I think the last one, in fact, was the uh, Assimilator series. So we might want to give that a go. Because it's been a long time. Especially given that the Assimilators had these ridiculously op overpowered weapons. The crazy plasma rifles and whatever else. Made the Rheumatomics turrets especially pointless towards the end game. Whereas in this one, we don't have quite those luxuries yet. More levels, you say. Okay, let's do it. Um... So, we've got a few more negatives to cancel out here. Oh my god, bother. I'm so sorry, my friend. Let's get a bit more intelligence on you. And then, like I said, all in on dexterity, I think, is a sensible play. If, especially if it does actually affect the range accuracy by a significant amount. We can make up for our crappy weapons, particularly if, say, the Orion Corp were to turn up. We can make up for our crappy weapons with just deft shooting. So, um... Should we go for like 100 decks across the board and then we'll start dishing points out elsewhere? Because that's going to affect our survivability. And obviously if they can survive a lot longer, they can just gain more levels to make up for it in the long term anyway. Should probably give the prisoners some recreation too then. Um, just, to, just to keep them happy a little bit. You know, I'm not going to go overboard here, but maybe like a, like a chess table. Um, martial arts target for getting rid of their pen up aggression. That seems like a terrible idea in hindsight. Perfect, I'll take three of them. Let's also stick down some stools there too. Okay, I think recreation is actually relevant now. Give, bear in mind the prisoners have a full-blown schedule. I haven't seen really what effect it has on their mood. Um, fucking, I hate this. Buttons. Okay. Um, right, let's also make sure the new guy has the meditation schedule as well. There we are. So, recreation might be relevant. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, they don't have a recreation bar. No, I don't think they actually care in hindsight. I'm going to have it anyway, just to keep them happy. Just because it'll make the room look very, very, very slightly nice. We fill it with plant pots as well. Really shut them up. Um, pot. Nothing. Uh, pl plant. Nothing. Do we not have enough furniture level for that yet? What is it called? Pl pl plant. Yeah, like I typed in. Oh no, maybe this isn't, maybe this isn't as flawless as I anticipated. Hang on. Pl pl there it is. Oh, it only searches under certain categories? Oh. Uh, all. Right, that's what we need. I see, I see, I see. That's fine. Wow, the external walls come along quite nicely too. Let's go ahead and hide the plans for the time being. Um, right, let's get rid of, excuse me. Let's get rid of those. There we are. Oh, wow. multi analyzer's done. Good shit. I don't think we've got nearly the resources we need to build. I don't think we've got any gold at all. Although that one anime girl that we had before I accidentally butchered it yesterday has... Or was making gold. Just to rephrase that slightly. Um, right, what am I looking for then? Let's go back to all. Multi... Multi-analyzer. What are we missing? It's the plasteel. Yeah, I figured it might be as much. Let's go and just quickly pan around and see if we've got any on the map. If not, we might need to stick people, everybody in the quarry just for a little while to see if we can get lucky and get it from somewhere. Compacted aluminium is not really what I'm after right now. Uh, appreciate them spelling aluminium correctly. Uh, what have we got over here? Nothing. We've got some some steel. What is this made of? Marble. Oh, I should have just taken that apart and used the used the blocks for a wall instead. Yeah, I don't think we've got any plasteel kicking around. That's a shame. Oh wow, this sounds really cool. Um, Kalatios Opcas Opcas, Countess of the Empire of Perfection, is in a troubling political situation. I wants to hide out in the hidden weed village for eleven days. There will be two raids of strength, two times, and roughly this size. What does that mean? Two times and roughly this size. So you're telling me that two raids of strength, two times and roughly this size. So you're telling me there's going to be a raid of, what is that? 36 plus 6 is 42 plus 30, 43 people. But twice its size. Twice? 
So what, there's like 86 people? Well, you, you're asking me to fight 172 people overall? You're a madman. And they also are sick with... That's a shame. I really want to say that because they've got this thing. Canicula 3 Sniper Rifle. Uh, psychic Radar, obviously Uranium. Apparently its value is 5,296. We can't do that. We genuinely cannot fight a raid of... I don't know what this means, though. There will be a, two raids of strength two times. And roughly this size. Hmm, that's so that's such a weird way to phrase it. Either way, we're not doing it. That's a shame. I, I really did want to try and do some more quests this time. But if you're going to send me quests that are unwinnable, because that would genuinely wipe us out. Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? What the hell are you talking about? Six blocks of overhead mountain. By the way, six blocks, by the way. Uh, we got infestation. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, that is absurd. That is obtuse. That is fucking ridiculous. Fine. Fine. I guess we have no choice but to fight them, huh? Let's go ahead and let those doors open. I know someone was running through here. Uh, who was it? Okay, don't do that anymore. That's a terrible plan. That's a lot of bugs. How many nests is that? Five nests. We need someone to go and open the door. Jimmy, you volunteered. Congratulations. Let's just get, get open one door. Run. Run, little Jimmy. Okay, good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Oh, Jimmy, run. Please fire. Please kill that mega spider. Whatever you're ready. That's a lot of enemies. Fucking hell. Um. Well, holy shit. This could be a problem. Oh, she distracted some of them. Incredible work. They're going after the prisoners. To be honest, that's probably the best thing we could have hoped for. Good luck, team. Uh, where is Strongarm? Get your katana out. And go and attack the ones that get to our people. Go. Good, good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Get back over there. Go, go. Run, run, run. No, no, no. You need to keep moving. Go, go, go. Melee attack. You guys come around this way. Don't shoot our people. Oh, excuse me. Go back that way. Uh, Okay, good shit. Good shit. We're fine. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. We're still A-OK -okay for the time being. I've just moved them over there as we killed them. And now the second wave is bloody coming in, you moron. Right. Come this way. You guys pull back. You guys pull back. Ice Wolf, give us, give us some room here. Give us some room. Focus the Mega Spider. Fuck the rest of them. Focus the Mega Spider. Okay, you get in there. Kill the Spellipedes. Don't get shot. That's, that's the important thing as well. Don't get shot, strong arm. I'd appreciate that. Okay, we're fine. Focus. Mega spider. Oh, it's the only thing left anyway now. No, no, no. Don't move. Don't move. Fire. We're fine. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're good. Horrible. The prisoners took the brunt of the damage, which, to be honest, is, is, is the perfect scenario. That's absolutely perfect. They're taught a lesson, and none of our people died. That's win-win. Oh, shit. Oh, a tiny little anime creature. Okay, rescue that. And then we'll get strong arm in there with the sword to hack these to bits. Hasty jelly. And they almost destroyed the septic tank. That would have been a, that would have been a bit of a mess. Okay, let's get 25. Oh, it's already draining at 25. What else was in there? It was a backup wood burner, was it not? That's a bit annoying. I think I'm going to research solar panels. I think we'll, I think we'll go for solar panels for a while because this is, this is dumb. Trying to run the whole base on wind turbines. This is terrible. It never works. Clearly, everybody's fine. Even the prisoners, which is uh, a little bit of a surprise, I'll admit. Oh, no. Okay. Um, strong arm? Bed rest time. I'll let you eat the jelly. Oh, strong arm is also a fucking... Oh, strong arm's our cook and we haven't got any friggin' meals left. I suspended simple meals because they were eating those rather than the stew like I talked about. Um, the, the lentil field has just started being sown. How bad is your infection? Bad enough, I think we can... Okay, you know what? Have we got a backup cook? No. Brains is our second best cook. Brains is not a cook. Brains should not cook. That would just cause us more issues. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tend to strong arm. Not bobber. Not bobber. Anything but bobber. Why is this wag inside our walls? Go to bed. Maybe it'll go away. Maybe it'll forget about us. Hunting turkey. That's what we're after. Ice wolf got food poisoning from the insect jelly. Okay. Tend to strong arm right now. Get to it. What the hell was that? What was that? What? Immortal mega scarab. <gasps> it's a what? Um. Oh, okay. Hello. I had no idea you guys could be immortal as well, but that makes, uh... That gives fingers something to, something to hunt down, I guess. Immortal Mega Scarab. Weird. Uh, or, oh, it actually was a Mega Scarab, too. Wait, that's not a Mega Scarab. That's a... Hmm. 
Oh, Mega Spy. I'm getting too confused. Ignore me. Uh, Kurt's head clean off. Decapitate this man. Behead. Go. Since when can animals be immortal? That's ridiculous. Behead it. Take its power. Grand Immortal? Still regular Immortal. I think they need a certain amount of kills of their own level before they themselves can level up. Okay. And I assume the rest are dead, right? I, I assume the rest are, like, dead, dead. Well, that's great to know that if we get attacked by mechanoids, can they be immortal as well? Got it. Brains is our cook, at least just to get a few meals into the freezer to last us a couple of days. How strong I'm doing. 31% immunity, 31% infection. Oh god, that leg like, might have to go. That leg like, may have to go, but 10 quality was 50% as well. You're not going to get much better than that. Okay, can be tended very, very soon. As long as we get on it straight away here. Uh, right, have your, have your drinky. And then draft up. Give him a few more seconds. How are we looking? Can tend now. Right, good. Get to work. Go. Tending strong arm. Good shit. Go, 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 go. Boom. 70% 10 quality. There we go. Save that leg. That we actually might be able to keep it now. Contaminated water tower. Oh, God. Fine. Drain it. Someone needs to get on that right away. Because if they drink from that, it can give them all sorts of horrible stuff. Get on it, brains. Okay. Thank God. Right. So I'm hoping he'll start the research now. There was no power to even start the research into solar panels. The second we get... Oh, no. The power went off a... That's a pretty big loss. 1,000... Oh, essentially 1,200 psychoid leaves. Christ almighty. Okay, we need to get the working on these solar panels pretty damn fast then. Who I blame? I blame those freaking insects. If it wasn't for those guys, we'd be we'd be still well okay. Uh, have we got enough? Yeah, we do have enough resources for this. Fine, stick it down. Go. Uh, Horn, right now, I need a wood fire generator, my friend. And you are going to be the one to deliver it to us. Refuel it. Not a sign of refueling. No, 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 no. Hang on. Steam decided to pop up. Thank you. Uh, refuel. Horn, do. We're fine. Hey, we've saved the day. Let's leave that one here for today. I'm pretty happy with the research progress. Getting microelectronics is pretty massive. What I'll do then, just to top things off so I don't forget, is let's put down a comms console over here. That gives us access to a whole bunch of things. Traders obviously start work on friendships with people like the Orion installation. I don't know if the commanders are on the map right now, but those would be quite good to start buttering up. We could stick down a trade beacon, which I'm going to do right now again, just before I forget. But this is uh, this is pretty big for us. It's quite a big moment. So it means we can start building up allies, start training some of our ship, potentially get our plasteel in place. The external walls are done. Obviously, we need bridges research. So I'm going to go ahead and queue that one up too here. Uh, bridge... Modular equipment manufacturing. No, no, no. I don't even understand. I need bridges. Stru stru structure. No. Br bridge. <laughs> All these mods and nothing that will let me build over swamps. Incredible. Classic fucking remod right there. Okay. Note to self. Install the bridges mod that we've used literally every other series besides this one. I guess I guess the true overpowered mod has been really uncovered. But hey, the walls are, are, have had a great start. Sure, we didn't get quite around to... Uh, Replacing all of our walls with, with marble, but this will definitely slow down raiders if they have to come through a swamp. It's not a kill box. It's not a kill box. Thank you all for watching. A big thank you to the insane top tier level patrons, the people who are keeping the channel possible in the first place and going to a ridiculous degree to do so. A big thank you goes out to this month's, including Siphon, Buen Gun, Siala, Scorched, Sarabi, Oliver, Harik, Wilson Atef, Goatfather, Caden Carter, Angelo, Tyler Kendall, Under the Couch, Bobka, Necrofilin, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon for making the channel possible in the first place. Big thank you to you guys, and a thank you as well goes out to Blood for the Blood God, Asaro, Bokpin, King Stinch Gaming, Udrick Haddon, Anchor, Spirit085, Voodoo Mumbo, Mr. Awesome, Sam Kears, Don, Monty, Smooth Octopus, Swifty21, Noobmeister, and everyone else over at Patreon for keeping the channel going.